The Sandy Hook Commission announced some strict new gun control laws yesterday. Tonight, gun advocates are letting us know what they think about it. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live in our New Haven newsroom tonight with more. Josh? Aaron, I spoke with a gun shop owner earlier today who says he's concerned that the new recommendation made could fundamentally change the state's firearms industry and not for the better. There are crazy people out there. There's nasty people out there. There are mean people out there. And you know what? Good people need to be able to protect themselves. Ask a Connecticut firearms enthusiast about what they think of the Sandy Hook Advisory Commission, and you're likely to get an answer like this. They don't know what they're talking about. The man speaking is Thomas Imperati. He's the owner of the Hunter's Shop in Brantford. Many like him are still angry over new regulations placed on gun owners in the wake of the massacre in Newtown, arguing what was done, like banning the AR-15 rifle and ending the sale of ammunition magazines that can hold more than 10 rounds, hasn't made people safer, but instead has just made things harder on responsible gun owners. And Friday, the commission made a new recommendation that's creating waves throughout the industry again. The commission felt that this was a more coherent uh, a way to set public policy. They say the state's gun laws don't go far enough and based on their research of mass shootings are ready to recommend a total ban on the sale and possession of firearms that can shoot more than 10 bullets without reloading. The single biggest common denominator between them is not mental health, it's not the structure of the school and school safety issues, it's access to possession of and use of these weapons of war. Not so, says Imperati. A weapon of war, is, uh, of war is anything you have in your hands. I knew a guy who had three confirmed kills in Vietnam with a tent pole. Who tells News 8, should the Sandy Hook Commission's recommendation get added to the state's gun laws, it will have a devastating impact on those who sell firearms for a living. Oh, sure it will. So we'll put a lot of guys out of business. Won't put me out of business. Because, uh, listen, I've been doing this for 31 years. I, 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 know, how to make, I know how to make money. I, I know my business. But there's guys out there that, that big gun stores that rely on new gun sales and it'll close them down. Commission members add it was the testimony provided by the parents of children who survived the Sandy Hook shooting that convinced them to go forward with the recommendation. In the New Haven newsroom, Josh Scheimblum, News 8.